the invisible man by h g wells and today we are on chapter number 19 certain first principles this chapter is going to be a very interesting chapter rather long uh, and if you try to read it and you are not a student of science maybe you would get caught up in very very long detailed scientific uh explanations that are given by the author just to explain how griffin as a student of science discovered the concept of invisibility the fact that even a human being could become invisible but i would just shorten it down and you need not know all the details you need to know a few words from here and there uh, but the beautiful long descriptions actually i credit the author and that is why this novel has survived so many years and is still read why because the author wants to make everything so real and that is why he has given great scientific details he has really worked on the facts uh and it appears as if you know anybody could become invisible even though this is impossible and the character list of chapter number 19 is the invisible man and dr kemp because both of them are holding a discussion and mostly it is the invisible man who is doing the talking chapter number 19 what happened in chapter 18 kemp has decided to inform the police and now a even though uh, griffin doesn't know it but the police is on the way and yet kemp is so curious to know how he has achieved invisibility so it is next morning after uh, griffin has had a night sleep uh, he is here and he is telling him about how he became invisible so we will just Kemp meets the invisible man in the morning and we already know that he has been in a bad mood and tries to get all the details of the process of becoming invisible from him because he knows that the police must be on its way when the letter reaches the officer uh, colonel adye his name we have already done and we begin with the scientific details and as i told you they are very long drawn in the chapter but we are just going to do a few basic details which you will have to mention in your answers so uh griffin tells kem that he had um dropped medicine he was studying medicine because he was a student of chemistry so he had dropped it uh and he rather started to study physics so his interest in physics uh drove him to work he worked on the concept of light he worked on the concept of light and on the concept of optical density so these are two concepts of physics if you are students of science you would you would be familiar with these terms of the concept of light and optical density this is what he started to study and then he tells kem that he studied uh he studied the refractive index and the idea that if the refractive index of 
a solid or a liquid substance could be lowered could be lowered up to the 